Hi guys, Damon from Texas Power Paddle. Excited to show you the new uh, links with our Texas Power Paddle propulsion system setup. Uh, obviously the Lynx is a really uh, nice stable platform um, and you guys are probably pretty familiar with it but just to point a few things out to add our power paddle system to it you're going to remove the fish finder um, cover on the bottom two screws that comes off and then in essence you're going to uh, install our remora system for the uh, the Hobie Lynx and this uh, screws in to the plate and when you turn the unit on and it's in the water, the motor pops out and deploys. And then when you shut the unit off, um, it retracts. Now this only happens when it's in the water, um, but obviously when it's retracted, um, you've got great clearance there and you almost don't even know you have the motor. Um, when you do install it, the motor cable comes right through the uh, kayak hole here uh, underneath the seat. And then you can route it back to your uh, drive control case. This is shown with our optional case mount which has it standing upright. Um, you still insert the connectors the same way, insert and twist uh, for the, both the throttle and the motor. This will also fit underneath the seat here uh, if that's where you'd like, like to keep it so you can have some more room uh, in the back. Our throttle, uh, you know, as, as you know, all of our throttles mount onto the rudder uh, handle. No different here, uh, other than on the links, you can move the, the rudder handle to the left or the right of the seat, which is a nice feature and that just clips on and you're able to uh, control your throttle proportionally. The core features here, this will drive uh, the Lynx about three and a half, four miles per hour. Uh, obviously you can use your Mirage Drive with it, which is really nice. You can add a little to it or if you just want to get exercise. And then this system will last um, you know, up to eight hours depending on how you're using the throttle. And um, there's a few little accessories you can add. Obviously you can add um, our two-part weed guard, which is nice because you can take the weed guard on and off uh, if you're running in uh, you know really weedy areas we also have um, skid plates um, if you drag your kayak a lot um, these skid plates attach to the the front and rear of the system and give your kayak and the motor just a little bit more protection um, there's one other thing that when you do transport your your kayak um, while the motor is retracted it's held with a magnet but there's a small little clip that the unit comes with and it goes on the plate here and it keeps the motor from coming out if you're on a long trip and you know it's bumpy or something like that you don't want the motor to to, uh, to deploy so that's um, kind of the setup it's real clean uh looks fantastic and i think you'll really enjoy it we're going to flip it over and then show you the the rest of it okay so we've got the links flipped over as you can see a uh, really wide hole here which is pretty awesome for stability uh, and then here's the remora it's already installed it's got the optional skin plates here uh, but real simple, as you can see, it's really flush. Um, when you turn the motor on and it's in the water, uh, the thrust causes that to pop out and lock into place there. And really you're only looking at about uh, four or five inches of clearance. Um, if you feather your um, Mirage drive there, you can get into some really, really shallow water. Um, obviously with the, all of our retractable systems, if you hit something, um, it'll go back like that. Also, when you shut it off, uh, the motor goes into a short burst to reverse and locks back like that. So that's our remora for the Lynx. Uh, this is what the control case looks like. We've got some videos online uh, to show you how, how that works. You can also get this system uh, with our TPP Mini. So it's the exact same motor and propulsion system. It's just if you already have a battery uh, like a Dakota Lithium or something that's at least um, you know, 25 amp hours or more, uh, then you'll be able to drive uh, this system just the same smaller case. It's got our control system in here and no battery and so uh, If you have any questions uh, reach out to us and uh, hope you enjoyed